Hey guys, it's Lauren from It's The Kellys. What I want to do today is show you guys the backpack and the duffel from the Monos Metro collection, which I have already reviewed before, but I reviewed the nylon version. Today I am going to show you the vegan leather versions of both bags and then compare them with the nylon versions so that you can really see what's best for you. I also went ahead and got the Metrofolio case, which is a really nice little accessory to get when you own either the backpack or the duffel because it is interchangeable with the Metro Classic kit, which is the little bag that comes with the duffel or backpack. So I'm going to show you both backpacks, both duffels, and the Metrofolio case so that you can make a decision as to which one you want to buy. And I'm really excited to do this video because I had seen the backpack and the duffel in the vegan leather in person before when I went to the pop-up store in Toronto last year, but I never actually have owned one myself. I am a Monos brand ambassador, which means Monos will send me items to review and then give you guys a discount code. So anything that you are interested in when it comes to Monos, whether it's suitcases or bags, or packing cubes, I have that discount code for you and the information is down below in the description box and in our pinned comment. Also, I know a ton about mono, so if you have any questions about anything, drop it down below and I will be happy to answer. If you are new here, welcome. I travel often and pack well and want to help you guys do the same. I have been to 88 countries and all seven continents in a carry-on bag, which led me to make this channel, review baggage, review travel essentials, and do packing videos so that you can pack carry-on only as well. Please hit that subscribe button and follow us on Instagram for even more daily tips and tricks and reviews that we can't necessarily fit here on YouTube. Okay, so let's start by introducing the bags that we are going to be comparing. Now, this is the Monos Metro backpack, and this is the color Juniper Green, and this is one of the nylon versions. Now, all of the nylon versions do have some vegan leather accents, so you can kind of see a little bit of the vegan leather if you get the nylon. This is the same Monos Metro backpack, but this is the vegan leather version in the color Saddle Tan, and the whole thing is that beautiful, vegan leather. This is the Monos Metro Duffel, and this is the nylon version in Oxford Blue. Again, nylon bag with vegan leather features. And then this is the Monos Metro Duffel Vegan Leather Edition in the color Ivory, where again, all of the details are that beautiful vegan leather. Now the nylon twill will come in four different colors. You have the carbon black, juniper green, dover gray, and oxford blue. The vegan leather colors are ivory, saddle tan, and mahogany. And you guys, you really can't go wrong with any of those seven colors. Sometimes they come out with limited edition colors as well. It's really just gonna come down to your personal choice. You know, what color are you vibing with these days? What color is going to match your suitcase if that's important to you? I could play the game all day where I match Metro bags to their mono suitcases. It's really, really fun. Comment down below and let me know so far what color or fabric that you like the best. And then I wanna see later on if you've changed your mind at all. Or maybe you want them all because I know I do. As you guys can see, the bags that I just showed you comes with this Metro Classic kit right here. And the amazing thing about this is that it has a quick snap feature. So there's this little tab right down here at the bottom and when you pull it, this bag can come up and then therefore detach and you can carry the bag like this by itself. You can carry this by itself or you can even put it inside. The bag itself is great. It has 
a nice little waterproof pocket right here. And then it has a couple other pockets here and a removable key leash. It really can fit a lot. I have used this as a plane bag before with essentials that I need while I am in flight. Think of it as almost a 3D front pocket that is removable. Regardless of the color or of the material, all of these Metro Classic kits do come with the bags and do come in this vegan leather. Now, the cool thing is that since this is removable, there is another option that you can get in any of the colors to put onto this bag instead. And this is the Metro Folio kit. And I did get it in the color ivory. You guys can see they're basically the same size. This one is just a little bit taller, a little bit wider, but then the depth is actually just a little bit skinnier. But when we look at the back, you can see that it has the same great quick snap feature because then I can pull this down, lift this up, and slip it onto my duffel like so. I bet you're wondering what the inside looks like. So think of this as almost a really big travel wallet. Take it from somebody that has lost her passport before while traveling. Something like this is going to be great because you just have all of your stuff in there that you need. Now I did go ahead and fill it up with some stuff so you guys could see. I did put a notebook in there just to be able to show you guys that a notebook can fit in there. Also a small tablet or even an e-reader. Right here it has all of these different elastic bands, whether you want to do pens, markers, I have some chapstick here, and of course some cords. There is also a pen holder. And then this part kind of acts almost like a wallet. And then there are little slots right here, maybe if you wanna put some SD cards in there. This is a little zippered compartment. I put a couple coins in there. This is a key leash that is removable. And then this is a great spot for your passport. And then this is another little spot here, maybe just to throw some cash. And there is a really nice pocket there. I would also probably even put my portable charger in here. Now, because this can kind of act like a wallet, of course, you're going to be worried about maybe locking it or worried about theft, especially if it's in the front of your backpack. If you're ever worried about pickpockets or anything like that, please take off the classic kit or the folio kit and put it into your bag. But you can also take the holes in the zipper pull and put a little travel lock on it if you're really concerned. Did I mention that the vegan leather and the nylon are waterproof and scratch proof? Because to me, that is totally necessary for travel items. Okay, so let's start with the backpack and we will go ahead and compare the two materials. Both of these bags are 16 and a half inches tall by 11 and a half inches wide by six inches deep. They both hold 18 liters, which is a nice size, especially for a person personal item. And then this one is 2.4 pounds, whereas this one is three pounds. The nylon ones do retail for usually about $200, whereas the vegan leather ones are just a little bit more at $220. Now, as you can see, these are both very sturdy. They are both standing up on their own. They are both completely empty. This one definitely is a little bit sturdier. So if that is something that is important to you, then maybe you want the vegan leather. This one is still very sturdy and standing up on its own, but it is really squishable being the nylon. This one is, you know, you can still kind of squish it, but it's very, very thick and very structured. Let's just go ahead and give you a little bit of a tour. And I'm gonna show you with this one because I've shown you this one a bunch of times already. If you're interested in seeing my full review of the backpack or of the duffel, I will go ahead and link those in the description box. So this is that spot right here that the Metro Classic kit goes onto, and when you take it off, it's just this little thing right here. It doesn't even turn into a pocket. As for the back of the bag, this is the trolley sleeve right here, so you can put it onto your favorite Monos luggage. These are the straps, and of course they are adjustable. 
and it is metal clasp right here it's not just plastic which we can really appreciate have a little bit more durability to the bag in the back here is its own little hidden pocket for a laptop one of the things I love the best about the back of this bag is that it does have a little hidden snap pocket right here where you can put in a small wallet or even your passport and you can't even tell that it's there. Of course, it does have a top handle here and it does have this nice little snap if you wanna snap them together. And then we have the inside. So here you have this nice little felt area here. You can totally put your laptop in this if you want or maybe a tablet or maybe a folder, but it does go all the way down. And then you do have the zippered pocket here that goes all the way down as well. And then you have these two little cinched pockets right here maybe for water bottles or whatever you want but then it does have all of this extra space and then in the front you have this zippered pocket here and this is like a really stretchy material almost like what a bathing suit would be made out of and it opens up and it's waterproof inside so again you can't go wrong with either one it's just going to be a little bit more of a personal preference neither of them is going to pack more or less it's just a matter of structure now let's go ahead and compare these duffels and you can kind of see the same thing so far this one is very structured and standing up on its own. And this one's just a little bit more relaxed. And because these are duffels, that doesn't mean that one is going to fit more or less, but this one could be just a little bit more squishable, especially if you're trying to use it for a personal item and maybe need to squish it into a bin for an airline. Now, both of these duffels are just over 16 inches wide, 11.2 inches tall, and then the depth is 7.2. Both of them are going to hold 22 liters and then the vegan leather is going to weigh a little bit more at 3.6 pounds whereas the nylon is only three pounds now just like the backpack there is a $20 difference this is full price $210 whereas this one full price is $230 I'm going to put the nylon version down and I am going to give you a tour of the bag with this vegan leather version this again is that little area where the Metro Classic kit does belong when it quick snaps on and it doesn't turn into a pocket or anything but there is a little snap pocket here which is a pocket or you can unzip underneath here and this becomes your trolley sleeve to put it onto your favorite luggage now make sure that if you're going to use this as a pocket that this isn't open because that's how you lose things don't ask me how i know but i know moving on to the front you do have an actual zippered pocket here and it is deep all the way down and it is about this wide these handles are a little bit more structured too they're standing up on their own but they are still very comfortable it does have the same little snap here to hold them together it has these snaps on the side here if you want to actually bring these up and make this taller let's go ahead and open it up and show you the inside these ones are always so hard to show inside but it does have this zippered pocket here this laptop compartment here and it has that same great felt material and then inside there are two little pouches one on this side and one on this side that you can definitely put in a water bottle or whatever you want and it is a snap now of course the duffel bags do come with the strap to be able to make it crossbody, and they're going to be the same strap no matter what it's going to have kind of this canvas material here and then the vegan leather to go on your shoulder and yes it is padded for comfort all right guys so what do you think like i said the nylon and the vegan leather are both great options they are both waterproof and they are both scratch resistant they aren't that much more money than each other the vegan leather is only 20 dollars more so if it comes down to cost 
what's $20 when you're thinking about something that's going to last you a lifetime. I think what your decision is ultimately going to come down to is do you want something that is a little bit more structured and rigid or do you want something that's not. Personally what I would think of when picking one out is what do I want to match? You know what color suitcase am I eyeing and which bag is going to match best with it. All right guys thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate your viewing and your subscribing to this channel. Do let me know down below which bag that you think you are more interested in. See you next time. Happy travels!